Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. So friends, today I am going to discuss one important thing uh, that is Semiconductor Technology Branch for M-Tech in IIT Roorkee. So this is a newly established branch. I will discuss few important points about this branch, course highlights or whatever the highlights of this program and exactly uh, what is going to be there and what are the basic eligibility criteria uh, for applying to this branch. So I think many of you already have applied for this branch this year and uh, uh, maybe you are getting this. So now I have covered few highlighted points for this. So important thing is that if I talk about the highlights of program. So basically this program is offered by IIT Roorkee along with the partnership universities like uh, some universities of Taiwan. So it is offered by Department of Elect Electronics and Communication. Uh, and Department of Physics at IIT Roorkee uh, jointly with the universities of Taiwan. So there are three three universities uh, or out of which uh, they may uh, collaborate with uh, any of them. So one thing is that this program is totally admission is based on your gate rank. As usual, the other admissions for other branches like uh, it is also on gate based. And one more thing that is going to help you here like usually we get the gate fellowship of uh, 12,400 uh, every month and over this you will get the additional uh, 12,000 money per month. So it will be the fellowship under the Dibya Sampak Technology uh, Hub IIT Turkey. So it is I think uh, 10 graduate fellowships so, so 10 people can get this scholarship. So it's a Dibya Sampak Technology uh, hub IIT Roorkee is going to provide this additional scholarship I can say and uh, four point is four point is very important first and fourth semester of your course is going to be held or going to be conducted in uh, IIT Roorkee and second and third semester these two semesters are going to be uh, conducted in partner university I can say university in Taiwan so I can say this is a very important thing that two semesters you are going to spend in Roorkee and two semesters you are going to spend in uh, Taiwan. Uh, so uh, whatever I can say, the uh, positive thing is here, uh, whatever the industry environment we are going to face in fabrication, I can say Taiwan is the best, one of the best um, place for the fabrication jobs. So you will get the real environment there uh, while you will do the lab work. So some of the labs will be provided in the IIT Roorkee and other labs and electives, whatever the courses you will get in the second and third semester at IIT or not IIT, at Partner University in Taiwan. So uh, fourth thing is that coursework and research on industry relevant problems in semiconductor. So I mentioned earlier that uh, this is totally going to be around the semiconductor fabrication side. So it is, uh, it may be the you know, researches uh, are going to be relevant with your fabrication side device physics. So yeah, it is at the Taiwan universities. And uh, after that, you know, whatever the jobs you will get here, you will be more toward the fabrication side, I see design testing, both in India and Taiwan. So yeah, this is the important thing here. You will get the jobs related to your fabrication or VLSI means IC design and testing both in India and Taiwan. So this is the positive thing here because you, you will get the environment related to these things only fabrication, IC design, testing, and you will have the opportunity to uh, take job in both the countries. So these are the three universities, uh, NSTU, I have mentioned the short name you can search for uh, and NYCU uh, and the third university is like NTNU. So these are the three universities of Taiwan uh, and uh, uh, their QS world ranking is also very good. I have seen this thing on website and you can also visit IIT Roorkee website. And uh, okay. Now, next thing is that if I talk about the course structure of this program, the first semester that is going to be held in uh, IIT Roorkee uh, will provide you some good courses. Like first course is semiconductor device physics. So here you will get the basic idea of uh, you can say uh, the designing of MOSFET at your device level, can say electronic level, charge flow, career flow, and whatever the reasons you know, I think these all have done in 
gate preparation also and second course that is the digital vlsi circuit design here you will get a view with the digital profile of your vlsi set and you will get good opportunity to learn here the things at practical level and third thing is the high frequency analog integrator so this course is going to help you on the analog side and high frequency analog ic's means uh, there you will be exposed with uh, like uh, work on cadence maybe uh, because you are going to design some good circuits for the high frequency applications analog circuits and the fourth thing is semiconductor characterization lab so this is very important because they are providing this lab as a 6 hour for, means it's like uh, yeah so all this is only lab which is going to i think maybe conducted for 6 hours so this is a good thing here and the uh, second is uh, lab, second lab is here microelectronics fabrication lab so also 3 hours are reserved for this lab so lab work is very good it will give you the environment related to the fabrication and whatever the CAD tools are used here or other softwares are going to be used here will be provided in labs. Now the semiconductor microelectronics technology. So yeah, this is the uh, fourth course, I mean sixth course. So these are the six courses that is going to be conducted in uh, first semester at IIT Roorkee. In the second semester will be uh, held there in uh, partner university. The second semester will be in partner university. So here, the electives are going to be provided you so you can uh, choose these courses according to your requirement whatever you are going to uh, take you there is a list of uh, all these electives i'll provide this uh, these this list in description all three partner universities are going to provide you a lot of electives which will support your industry profile and so first thing is the cad lab so here you're going to uh, familiar with the uh, various computer edit design tools so cat tool i can say where you can design whatever the real uh, time environment you can simulate over the softwares like the fabrication uh, work there and the last thing is here the sixth point here uh, in the coursework uh, is seminar so seminar is like it is for two credit so it is also usually held in iits in india so the seminar work is like whatever the uh, topic you choose, uh, we have to choose one topic and according to that, we have to do some kind of research by using IEEE papers. And on the basis of that, we are going to present our idea, whatever we take. It may be, it is happening in uh, India in IITs and whatever they actually give. So you have to present your idea, whatever you have analyzed in IEEE papers. So it is a seminar for two credits. So this thing usually happens in India also. Now third semester is also going to be conducted in Taiwan. So the, in third semester, the only thing is that uh, uh, dissertation or thesis stage one. So this is for 12 credits means in the third semester entirely, you have to do some good project because this thing we usually do in India also. In, uh, I mentioned in uh, previous videos that in India, we do some good project in MTech. This is the major project I can say. It's the only thing that we do in third and fourth semester. So in third semester, you will start your project work at Taiwan University and fourth semester, you will end this course or the stage two of this project work is going to be ended for credit 18 credits in India. Yeah, so this is going to be ended your uh, work of project uh, in India in the fourth semester. So this is the basic course structure I tried to explain. So overall, uh, good credits are there and important thing, whatever I mentioned here is just I have taken from their website of IIT Rookie and these are the very good courses, I can say. Courses are related to the fabrication also, digital courses are also there Pre uh, or can say analog courses are also there and good lab work is going to provide here. So this will be the good opportunity for a student who is appearing in the gate and uh, whatever they are getting, you can also go for this one. It's a very important match, I can say. Uh, because uh, whatever the companies come like uh, the TSMC comes into the IITs and uh, they give uh, for the fabrication profile. Majorly, I can say they, they, they do not give uh, jobs for the fabrication profile here. But after this particular collaboration, you are definitely going to get the fabrication jobs in Taiwan. So this is the good opportunity at uh, fabrication understanding level, I can say. The next thing here is that the eligibility criteria. So yeah, BTEC of um, EC, BTEC of EC, engineering physics, double E and IN, or any equivalent relevant 
discipline. So these are the four branches majorly I can say the BTEC in electronics, electrical instrumentation, three and one the physics. And MSc in physics, electronics, applied physics, MSc in physics, electronics, applied physics, photonics and engineering physics. So these are the eligible branches and uh, get paper in EC, physics, EE and IN is going to be allowed. So rest thing is that whatever I mentioned there electives. So elective list will be provided in description. So elective list will be provided in description. You can see that good electives are going to be provided here. So my suggestion will be that uh, whoever or any one of you are getting this branch. So please go for it. You will get really good environment course level or I can say in lab work also. So this will be very helpful for you to build your VLSA profile more toward the fabrication side. And I think this is the major thing and important thing that I tried to mention here and you will definitely benefit it. So, okay. If I recap it, these are the highlights of program. I have, I have mentioned this thing here and you can also visit the IIT website. I will give you the link of that, this particular thing and uh, in this coursework structure, I will give you the list of these uh, program electives. Uh, all three universities are going to provide you num n number of uh, electives so you can opt according to your requirement and uh, third thing is eligibility criteria and uh, so I think this is the enough for enough information I tried to gather and to explain in front of you because this is very important thing this is a newly branch a newly established branch so some people may not be aware of it and uh, some may be in confusion so I think I tried to uh, clear these points so that you can understand what the importance of this branch is and why the IIT started this particular thing with the collaboration of Taiwan universities. So I think this will be helpful for you. Oh, thank you.